Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, May 1st, 2017. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. The big global investment management company, Fidelity International, has accused the uh, total return insurer Fidelis of breaching its trademark in the United Kingdom and in the European Union. At an interim hearing at the High Court in London today, lawyers for Fidelis, the insurance company, outlined Fidelity's claim that the insurer's brand intended to link the two firms in the minds of consumers to take advantage of its reputation. The claim from Fidelity relates to 16 trademarks across 21 separate services offered by Fidelity across the UK and the EU. Uh, the court heard that Fidelity asserted that there had been a change in the economic behavior of its consumers that was caused by Fidelis. Uh, Fidelis's lawyers cited literature on Fidelity's website in which the uh, investment firm explicitly denied, defined itself as purely an investment service that was not involved in either banking or insurance. The defense said that Fidelity in fact made a positive virtue of its absence from the insurance market. Uh, the defense further noted that there were 670 companies in operation, which included the root FID, FID, I should say, in their titles, and that this outlined the, uh, underlined the unlikeliness of any risk of confusion or a link between the two entities in question. Uh, the judge hearing the case said he was not enthused by the prospect of introducing an expert witness that would only add to the cost of the case. The issue is set to be taken to trial in the first quarter of next year. The case continues. I'm not so sure how much more clarity any expert witness could bring to that. Tornadoes in the United States over the weekend killed at least 11 people. In East Texas on Saturday night, at least four people were killed and dozens were injured when high winds, falling trees, and floods struck the area. Uh, five people were killed in neighboring states, according to different news reports. Three tornadoes were confirmed by the U.S. Weather Service in uh, Texas, east of Dallas. Also in Arkansas, uh, two people were killed when tornadoes struck there. And in Mississippi, another person was killed when tornadoes struck in that area. The St. Louis area saw severe thunderstorms throughout yesterday. Some people were told to evacuate and some 33 rescues occurred in the southwestern part of the city. Earlier today, a crane collapsed in uh, the uh, Samsung's heavy industry shipyard in South Korea, killing six workers. The rescuers were searching for workers trapped under debris after the 32-ton crane fell on a ship Monday afternoon at a shipyard on Gyoji Island. The company said the crane collided with another crane uh, before it collapsed onto the ship. Uh, Samsung is the world's third largest shipbuilder after South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. 27 people have been injured, several suspected with spinal damage, after an Aeroflot Boeing 777-300, on which they were traveling from Moscow to Bangkok, encountered strong turbulence. Uh, the Russian embassy in Bangkok said that uh, Aeroflot Flight 27 hit an air pocket Monday on its approach to Bangkok's international airport, and that those injured had not been wearing seatbelts. This morning at about 7.15 a.m., a SpaceX rocket took off from the uh, Kennedy Space Center in Florida to boost a classified spy satellite into orbit for the American military and then turned around and touched down at a nearby landing pad. It was the 34th mission for SpaceX, but the first flight for the Department of Defense, a, c a customer long pursued by SpaceX founder Elon Musk. The privately owned uh, SpaceX has uh, several other contracts in the pipeline, but the Defense Department is by far the biggest potential user. The uh, satellite sent up today was operated by the National Reconnaissance Office and was likely a spy satellite of some type. The NRO did not offer any comment. SpaceX said that they were pleased that the mission went successfully. Uh, initially, the mission had been set to launch yesterday morning. However, there was a difficulty with a sensor in one of the rocket stage units, so it was pushed back about 24 hours, and it went off today without a hitch. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.